Happy New Year guys, today I'll talk about Roblox exploiting and I wanna know your opinion, so please after watching the video leave a comment sharing your thoughts. It's been almost a month since Electron released and it's been 20 days since it's down. They said Electron went down to fix issues but for now we do not know anything about what they are doing and apparently not even the staff on their discord know it. New Year soon, by the way, I don't know what is going on with Electron so do not DM me or any other staff members, just wait for any news here. And there are a few that have aimbot and DSP out here, but nothing more than that. The only working free methods are the cheat engine one, the emulator one, which is kinda laggy, and the AI aimbots with Amy or Nezur. I made a video tutorial about all the working methods, so you can find the links in the description if you want to watch them, and that's why I keep showcasing it. The emulator choice is good if you want to use any script on any game without being detected, but it's very laggy, and for low-end PCs, it's impossible to run. By the way, Roblox announced that that buy from Hyperion anti cheat will come out also on Android, so this is maybe the end of emulators and exploiting on mobile in general. And to make things worse, Roblox is suing any paid cheat that is coming out, and this makes private cheats more popular and common. But private cheats are bad for the community in general because without public cheats, less people will use exploits, and most of these private cheats are detected. Electron itself was detected. I think we are so desperate that we do not care about getting banned. We just want to execute our scripts in our favorite games and have fun with it, regardless of bans. So, in 2024. Are we going to see fully working public executors? Or is it going to be a downfall until we reach the end of Roblox exploiting? 